In an exclusive sneak peek at the upcoming episode of Sister Wives, fans see Cody Brown's reaction to Janelle Brown's new apartment amid their separation. Janelle Brown is opening the door to her new apartment and new era without Cody Brown. In a sneak peek at the November 5 episode of Sister Wives shared exclusively with E! News, fans watch the Brown patriarch stop by to see his ex's place and their daughter Savannah amid their separation. And it looks like Janelle is feeling right at home. I guess in a way this has been a nice space because he's not ever been into this space, she explains in the preview. So it feels like it's kind of my space. I sort of liked having it as kind of my little sanctuary. And while Cody compliments Janelle on her new residence, he admits the moment is a little awkward. I don't know how weird this is, he says in a confessional after Janelle tells him she needs help hanging up some artwork. I mean, maybe it's just a test. Hey, will you come over and hang pictures? Sure, Oak. I mean, I've been married to four women. Everything's a test. Pick me, pick me. Do something for me. Do something for me. That's what plural marriage can feel like sometimes. Ultimately, the visit further reiterates that Cody and Janelle's relationship is over, with it being one of several breakups he's gone through over the past two years and his marriages to his wives Mary Brown and Christine Brown have also ended, resulting in Robin Brown being his sole spouse. I like this place, Cody continues. The other apartment was pretty cramped, but it's just dawning on me that maybe the whole reason Janelle moved here was because the other apartment was our place. You know, I was living there with her, and she's moved here, and it doesn't look like I'll be living here with her. As he puts it, it's her apartment. It's not ours. But there's no room for me. It's not about me and her. I honestly don't know why she's showing me other than, well, I mean, our daughter lives there. Speaking of their daughter, fans got a look at where Cody, who shares six of his 18 children with Janelle and Savina stand. Cody has been making effort with Savina, Janelle says in the episode. He takes her out to dinner every couple of weeks. He is seeing her more frequently than he was at the beginning of a year for sure. Cody calls his bond with Savina sweet and gentle and indicates it's different than his estranged relationship with his sons Garrison and Gabriel. I haven't been in touch with Gabriel and Garrison for quite a while, he says. I'm pretty sad that I'm not close anymore. There was just so many things in our lives that we did that were rich together, you know, just special experiences. And while Cody suggests he's optimistic for a reconciliation with them in the future, he acknowledges it won't happen overnight. I think and hope that in time we'll just get over this and that we'll be safe being back around each other," he adds. Right now, there's not really an open door with Gabe and Garrison between there, they're not willing to engage me. Sister Wives airs Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC. She looked like a soccer mom. Cody Brown once joked on Sister Wives of meeting then single mom Robin in 2009. She had a van, three kids, and was divorced. I thought I could meet a van, a divorced woman, and three kids in my life. That's just trouble. Nearly a decade and a half on, though, they're still kicking it, the pair adding son Solomon, 11, and daughter Ariella, 7, to the squad. As for bringing on other teammates, it's not in the game plan. I really, really struggle with it because it feels like, oh well, those didn't work. So on to someone new, Robin said on the December Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one special of Mary, Janelle, and Christine leaving the fold. That's hard for me. That's really, really hard for me. It feels disrespectful. She got the man in the family. Going official with her and David Woolley's romance on Valentine's Day 2023, Christine Brown shared, I finally found the love of my life, David. The first time he held me close, it felt like my soul took its first breath. He's wonderful and kind, incredible with my children and an adorable grandpa. I never dreamed I could find a love like this. Two months later, he added to the fantasy with a spring proposal. David treats me like a queen and tells me I'm beautiful every day, Christine told People. I've never been in love like this before and the world seems like a brighter place with him in it. Tying the knot in Utah October 7, she wrote, I'm so blessed. I've married my best friend.